Happy Open Education Week! This is David Wiley from BYU coming to you with another short video about why we should be open. You're probably familiar with the buy one, get one free format of sale that's become so common and popular these days. A number of years ago, my wife and I were driving through Ohio, and as we passed a little pizza place, we saw a sign out front that said, buy one, get one. And something about the sign struck me funny. I, I remember turning to my wife and saying, if I buy one, I'd by golly better get one, because I paid for one, and I expect one. It makes me think about the state of research and uh, academic publishing. A couple of years ago, some students of mine and I got to digging around, looking and trying to understand what the relative contributions of the different actors in research are. And uh, according to some estimates by Gass in 2005 and Dressen Marcus in 2005, uh, that U.S. taxpayer spends somewhere between $105,000 and $120,000 per research article that's produced as a result of NIH funding in the United States. Compare that to an estimate from the Wellcome Trust in 2003 that the publisher of a high-quality journal's total investment in an article that they publish is somewhere around $3,000, including their administrative and all their other costs. Now, does it make sense that taxpayers make 98% of the investment in a piece of research in a resulting article, and publishers make 2% of the investment, and yet the publishers end up with copyright, charging the public for access to the articles that they've already paid to have written? Uh, I, you know, I thought we bought a pizza when we commissioned this research to be done with our money. We paid for the research to be done. We ought to be able to see the results of the research. Consequently, if you buy one, you should get one. All taxpayer-funded educational resources, like research articles, ought to be open educational resources, and that's another reason we should be open. Thank you.